Morning, everyone. Great to be here with this morning. Such a beautiful morning. So as we continue our worship this morning, it's now time to partake of the Lord's Supper. It's indeed a very important part of our worship. And so today I'd just like to read a few passages. Say not too much, let the passages do most of the speaking. So we'll start with Matthew 26, 26 to 28. Now as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is the blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. So we can see that the Lord's Supper is a command. It's what God wants us to do, what Jesus wants us to do, for many reasons, some of which we'll look at today. Next slide. Thanks. 1 Corinthians 11, 23, 25. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he also took the cup. After supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So the Lord's Supper, what we're doing here today, is a memorial. It helps us remember, helps us remember the sacrifice that Christ was willing to do. We eat the bread in memory of his body. We drink the cup fruit of the vine in memory of his blood. Next slide, thanks. First Corinthians eleven twenty six. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The Lord's Supper is a pro proclamation. We declare what we believe to be true. Jesus is God, came down to earth, lived a perfect life, amazed people with his wisdom, his miracles, his healings, fulfilling prophecies. Surely this is the Son of God. Next slide. The cup, of, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? So this is a profound sharing that we do as a body, that we are one in Christ. It's a communion. It's coming together. It's acknowledging who we've been made through Christ's sacrifice. Yep, next slide. Matthew 26, 26, 29. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and after blessing it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples. He said, Take, eat, this is my body. He took a cup, and when he gave them thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. So this Lord's Supper, it's a celebration, our sins are forgiven, but one day we will dine with our Savior. The Lord's Supper also points to the future. We know that one day Jesus will come, return, and take us to the home he's prepared for us. So we look forward as well, as well as looking back to what he had done. Next slide. John 14, 1 to 3. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you, take you to myself, that where I am, you also be also. So as I say, it reminds us of the many promises that Jesus has made to us. And I just love this part. 
if it were not so, would have told you. It's, it's a very sort of down-to-earth sort of conversation here to me anyway, like two mates talking. We remember that Jesus is always with us. Remember that he is our advocate, that he helps us continually cleanse us. We remember that as Christians, we've been transferred into God's kingdom, transferred from darkness into a kingdom of eternal light. And we're in that kingdom right now on earth, and in the future we'll be made more whole. But we haven't just been transferred, we've been rescued, we've been made clean by the blood of Christ. So let's now uh, partake of the, the unleavened bread, and we'll pray first. Thank you. Heavenly Father, we uh, thank you for being here as your family. We thank you that um, you've given us this opportunity to uh, be added to your kingdom. Father, we think of this bread and what it represents and your willingness to die on that cross, and we're so thankful for the blessings you give us all the time. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's eat together. So we'll now share the cup together and pray. Heavenly Father, again, we thank you for all the blessings you have. We think of this fruit of the vine. To, we think of your blood that you willingly gave, the, all the suffering you're willing to do. And again, Father, it uh, reminds us of the future we have in heaven with you always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's drink together. <clears throat> 